All right, I don't know if you guys can see the um, the clouds, the solid mass of clouds on the end and some of the ring portions of it. You got lucky, man. Looks like he was yeah, able to get the part. Stock, but we found what we needed. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> I am so grateful for you guys, man. And the rain stopped. <laughs> oh, another band. Hurricane Dorian is supposed to be making landfall, not landfall, but getting as close to, as it is to Florida today and working its way up the coast. So we're starting to feel the effects. Catching, right? Yeah, but it was running like slow before. Like yeah, that's because your timing was out. Man. Oh. That's what I'm assuming because the gears tore up. Your timing gets out and it causes it to run hot. I pray you're right. It'll go very fast and pop every now and then. It's just that was bad enough. Yeah, I would like step on it and I felt like almost like it was slipping. Yeah. Well, it wasn't even like it was like it lose, you know, and then I had to ease off. Very uh, smart. But uh, I'm assuming we can fix this. I'm impressed that you can do this stuff on the side of the road. Well, this is the same motor I have in the little mud toy I have in the house. Yeah, but you're doing this. Is you're doing this in a hurricane, <laughs> one of the biggest hurricanes we've ever seen here. Well, it's not here yet, but it's on its way for sure. Yeah, we got a little time though. Cool. We should have you out of here probably about an hour. Oh, that'll be awesome, man. It'll be nice if it runs normal, then I don't have to be like, well, I'm hoping so. Uh, hopefully, everything will be all right. Yeah, I'm praying that. Cars. That's how fast they whiz by, man. They were even, uh, you see how fast they all go by and how close they come to hitting the RV? I think these are people evacuating. But this is what I've been dealing with. Um, and at night, it was really, really scary because they were they weren't able to see me because I couldn't leave the uh, the flashers on all night because I didn't want the batteries to drain out. So I had to kind of stay awake for them. When I saw them coming up, I had to turn it on real quick so that they would see that I was up here. I 
you just roll it over. I got my finger over it. Just bump it now. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right there. Alright, I need a screwdriver and a ratchet to fit this front crank. A socket. So we can roll it over and get it on top of that center. Should be pretty close now. If you have to, you can reach in from, you know what I mean, a different direction to turn it. One of the outer bands. <coughs> you can see the the rain coming down over there. It's coming down on us too.
The uh, mechanics actually had to stop too because I don't know if you can see the hurricane is here, the outer edges of it. So they've kind of had to stop. Can't really work in this rain. It's not just regular rain, it's hurricane rain. So it's coming in really strong, and the wind's just. I don't know if you can see the grass and stuff out there blowing all over the place, but it. Um, it's not like regular storm. It is a hurricane. The uh, rain comes and goes real quick. I think uh, that last round was like just about seven to ten minutes. And then, let's see as soon as it cleared up, they're, they're back at the, uh, the RV trying to get it back together here before another round comes. It's gonna be worse and worse. I needed to act to make it fire again other than a computer. Wow. I have everything else. I brought here a full pack. I brought the distributor and I brought the spare distributor in case we need parts out of it to repair this distributor. New plug wires, plugs, pretty much everything. I have coolant in the back of the truck so when we're done we can see if this water pump's good or bad. Hopefully it's good and it was just the distributor being out of the Wow. Yeah. This is an everyday thing for us. How many calls do you get a day? Uh, for being in business for three years, I should have more. I usually probably get maybe one call a day. Usually, I usually wind up with about three or four calls a week. But I also have a fleet service of semis and trailers I take care of also. Oh, so that keeps you pretty that's busy. a contract. I've been having them for two and a half years. So that keeps the money flowing and everything else is a little extra. Wow. I also have a race car I'm building. You are? With 1973 Datsun 240Z. It's got a 05 Yukon Denali 5.3 in it. Awesome. It where, where do you race that? Sebring Raceway. Oh, they, they have one in Sebring? Yeah, they have a drag race here every now and then. They just started doing it again. And just, they started to do events and things like that. So you, I built the car. You have like a YouTube channel or something? No, not yet. I was Get one. on it one day. <laughs> I got a big turbo on it. Yeah, a lot of people want to wanna see that. I want to see you race it. Oh, it won't be long. We'll have it up and running in a few weeks. After that, I'm gonna do a resto mod. I got a 
Bel Air I'm looking at online for sale. I'm probably gonna put a 5.3 in it and upgrade it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the works to it and make it a resto mod. And what do you do when you finish with it? Is it just like collect it or? No, I'm gonna sell it. Fix it up and sell it. Awesome. It's gonna be prime, so it's gonna be worth big money. Wow. It's not gonna be just some junk that's gonna be thrown together. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do it all. Fifteen. suspension in it. Just have an older car with all modern stuff in it. Be awesome. I have a touch screen, seven inch tablet for uh, <laughs> cluster. It'll all be touch screen. So it's gonna look like an old car on the outside, but on the inside it's gonna be like state of the art. I'm gonna bring it up to date. Wow. Be nice. Keep your emissions and your fuels fuel system in it good. That way they got good fuel mileage and you can drive as an old truck. Oh. Yeah, I, I tend to like the, the styling of the older cars more than the newer ones. It's actually in really good shape for what it is. Uh, the shape it's in cuts a lot of work off of it. 